We're joined on set now by our French politics editor, Mark Perlman. Uh, so it's historic, but is it realistic, this uh, leftist alliance ahead of the parliamentary elections? Well, it seems to be getting uh, realistic, more and more realistic as the days go by. No one thought it would happen because of all those differences uh, you mentioned and also because uh, there was a clear leader on the left, the Socialist Party. This has been uh, blown apart by what happened in the previous election in 2017 and now confirmed uh, by the emergence of the radical left, as it calls itself, France and Bal around Jean-Luc Mélenchon, 22% the overall leader now on the left. And what's more surprising is that they've been able, to, through negotiations, uh, to come up with this alliance between the Socialist Party, the Green Party, the Communist Party, and uh, France and Bal. They will uh, field candidates uh, together. Uh, obviously, France and Bal will have the vast majority. The Greens will have 100 or so uh, MPs, uh, constituencies where uh, they will be able to run. The Socialist Party, only uh, 70, but it's good enough. Uh, there's only a question mark hanging over this, is that uh, the uh, Conseil National, the National Council of the Socialist Party, still has to endorse this decision. Uh, they're meeting at 7 p.m. today, uh, Paris time, and it's already created a lot of rift uh, because some of uh, the old socialist uh, guard have already denounced uh, this agreement as saying this is uh, not what our party is about. Uh, chief among them, the former prime minister, Bernard Cazeneuve, who's announced his resignation from the party. And uh, the uh, last uh, socialist president, François Hollande, has all but said that he uh, does not agree with this and he might also essentially slam the door from the party he led for a, a decade. It's really historic stuff yeah. indeed. Now, uh, meanwhile, uh, Emmanuel Macron's party, La République en Marche, the Republic on the Move, is uh, re-baptizing itself, if you could say that, uh, renaming itself as Renaissance, very yes, uh, Phoenix-like imagery. Uh, this, uh, because of course he wants to hold on to the parliament. He and uh, the, his party is also clubbing together with other parties uh, under the under the title of Ensemble or Together. So tell us how Emmanuel Macron is hoping to stave off the the far left and the far right threat for his hope to control parliament. Well, but yes, there, there, were, there was a, this whole discussion about whether he would create a new party or a confederation of uh, movements, which is in the end what they just announced a few minutes ago, as you just said, uh, La République en marche, uh, rest in peace. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> exist. It's now called Renaissance, which literally translates as rebirth. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the new name of uh, the party uh, because Emmanuel Macron said when he was re-elected that this uh, mandate is going to be different and how to make it different. Well, I'll already changed the name of the party. It wasn't much of a party anyway. It was mm -hmm. really built around him, for him, and he was the overall leader, so they're hoping that this will indeed help rejuvenate uh, the party. Uh, they will uh, have uh, also the majority of candidates. They will unite with the Modem, which was the centrist party. Uh, it was already their ally in 2017. And there's a newcomer, a party called Horizon, uh, which was founded by Emmanuel Macron's first prime minister, Edouard Philippe. There was a lot of uh, discussion whether this would happen or not. Mm. Uh, Horizon will be able to, uh, to field uh, some 58 candidates, which is good enough to get uh, the key, uh, which is financing, public financing. Mm. You need to field at least 50 candidates. This will happen. However, uh, clearly the uh, République en marche or rebirth will have the vast majority of seats. They're hoping uh, that they will be able to secure uh, strong and uh, coherent uh, majority because this has been a problem not for Emmanuel Macron his first mandate but uh, to François Hollande uh, when he was president. Okay and, and the prospect of Jean-Luc Mélenchon of course what he's hoping is that he would be prime minister which would basically make Emmanuel Macron a little bit of a lame duck president, right? If, if Absolutely, so the so-called cohabitation. Right. Uh, it seems unlikely, uh, but uh, that being said, nobody thought that the left would be able uh, to uh, unite. Uh, most commentators, most analysts say Emmanuel Macron will still have a majority uh, in parliament, but uh, the left, especially if they go united as they claimed, and if there's not too much division, uh, will be able uh, to win a sizable number of seats. Uh, the question is also the far right. They only have 
seven MPs out of 577. They're certainly hoping uh, to get more. However, uh, Marine Le Pen is quite isolated. She scored an uh, honorable result at the presidential election. Mm -hmm. The legislative election is a very different one, and she has not been able to unite with her rival, Éric Zemmour. Mm -hmm. Actually, they've been at odds. Maybe they will see that if the others are united, they need to unite in order to be able to compete. Thanks for that, Mark Perlman.